Martin Lee down is scared and horny. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about all the upcoming events. We've got trailer dates, we've got new skins, we've got new game modes, we've got at night modes, we've got a kaiju event, we've got an anime event, we have a ton of stuff to cover. So we're going to jump right into the video, we're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. But now, let's talk about all the really cool stuff we can look forward to. So we are finally one week away from new content coming to Apex Legends as the next Awaken Collection event will be dropping next Tuesday on June 21st. And we'll actually be getting two trailers this week, but the first one we're going to talk about will be for the Collection event, which will be dropping on Thursday. And we've already had some promo images popping up, such as this one, which features two of the Collection event skins for Horizon and Fuse, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's also something a lot of people haven't noticed, and that is the Lifeline Town Takeover. It's clearly visible on the left side of the image, and it does seem as though it is going to be taking place at night or at least it's going to be changing the Olympus skybox, it would appear. And that matches up with what Ezra told us about Shadow Royale returning to Olympus. Now, I don't think that Shadow Royale is going to be a game mode that we see, although if it does come for the collection event, that will be super awesome. But I think the nighttime skybox is in preparation for when we get that game mode returning this Halloween. But don't worry, there will be a limited time mode coming for this event, and it will be the return of the control mode, and this will be taking place on World's Edge at the Lava Siphon area. It was originally reported by several news outlets that control mode was going to be coming back in the second half of the season though everyone thought that armed and dangerous was going to be for the first event myself included but now it does appear that armed and dangerous will be coming with the anime event which will be on july 19th and run until august 1st but going back to that lifeline town takeover that we saw on the promo image ezra did let us see some first-hand gameplay of it and it is a two-story structure building it and there are some unique functions in it that ag420 found in the files showing that there's a no cooldown for a med bay and that you can actually activate a care package within the center as well and of course the Lifeline Town Takeover is going to line up with the stories from the Outland for Lifeline, which should be releasing tomorrow morning. Moy Pereira, one of the animators, actually went ahead and teased it and showed us an image of Lifeline with her parents. The voice actress of Lifeline is that there's going to be something releasing on June 14th that is going to rock our world. Of course, with every collection event, there will be skins that you will be able to pay for that will unlock the Valkyrie Heirloom. And the first collection event is actually going to be a Kaiju theme. We do have the Fuse Animal Instinct King Kong inspired skin with the non-state actor for Mad Maggie, which is going to be the Godzilla theme. We also have an Ash Existential Threat, which is based off the Mutos from Godzilla, and the Adam Heart Horizon, which is based off of a Jaeger from Pacific Rim. And we know of two other ones, such as the Limit Breaker Rampart and the Power Up Seer. And you might be saying, well, how do you know that these are actually Kaiju themed? Well, an EA game changer known as Raziel actually let me know back on May 12th that the first event is going to be called Mecha vs. Monster. And I also know that this is correct because he, when he told me about the anime event, he specifically said Octane and Mirage will stop at nothing to save Watson from Revenant. And we also have a promo image for the anime event and all four of those characters were included just the other day. Also a little bit of a sad note, when he was giving me the information that EA had presented him, it does look like cross progression has been delayed. So if you were waiting for that, it looks to be coming a little bit later than we originally thought or EA had told people. But in regards to that anime event, we do know the official title right now. It is called Gaiden. And like I said, it will have that armed and dangerous mode, which means that this event will start on July 19th as we already talked about. And it will feature a host of of the anime skins here, which is an Octane One Piece, a Watson Naruto, a Mirage, My Hero Academia, and Revenant Neon Genesis. There will also be a Sailor Moon Bangalore, a Tokyo Ghoul Bloodhound, a Dragon Ball Crypto, and an Ultraman Loba. There will also be a number of trackers that you'll be able to get for this event, such as Revenant, Watson, Mirage, and Octane. You won't be able to actually earn them within the event though. You will have to buy this just like with every other thematic event, or you can craft it for double the amount of normal crafting materials. It has also been officially announced that by getting every single anime event skin that you will be able to unlock the Bangalore Prestige skin and that will cost you $160 the same as the collection event. We do know what her finisher looked like. You saw it in the intro and here it is again. It is a very cool skin but I can't in any way justify paying $160 for it. That's just my opinion. Let me know down below. Out of everything that we just covered for Apex Legends coming in the next month and a half, let me know what has you most excited and what you are most looking forward to seeing. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands. And I'll see you out there.